Now, to what I promised. I believe if President Biden runs for re-election, as it seems he is at this point, if he loses, we're going to talk about this reason. It's not the crime, it's the cover-up. You know this expression, right? Wisdom of unknown origin, but it rang in the morale, uh, the, the, the moral of the Nixon saga, okay? But it has been repeated all too often. Now, in the law, it means that what you do is often betrayed by how you try to get away with it. Like the uh, expression from the poem, oh, what a tangled web we weave when first we practice to deceive, from Marmion, right? The poet. But in politics, the expression means something else. And as we saw today again, the president and his administration is on a collision course with the truthiness of this adage. Why? In politics, it's not the crime, it's the cover-up, goes to the reality that perception is often reality in politics. Telling your own story, driving the narrative that you need is everything. And if you do not tell us your story, someone else will. The president and his people just don't seem to get this. Witness Hunter Biden being mentioned in testimony before Congress by IRS whistleblower Gary Shapley, where he mentions a message. I think it was a WhatsApp message. So much for that being safe. Hunter Biden says, I'm sitting here with my father and we would like to understand why the commitment made has not been fulfilled. Tell the director that I'd like to resign, blah, 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 blah. What is it? He's talking to a Chinese business partner, okay? And he says, I'm here with my father you better pay me. Okay. And then Zhao confer the guy's name is Zhao, Z-H-A-O, right? He confirms he's going to call. Okay. I get the message. I get the message. Biden says again, Hunter, I'm sitting here waiting for the call with my father. I sure hope whatever it is you're doing is very, very important. Now, do we know what's going on here? Of course. Does it matter whether Biden was there? Of course it does. But we know what the son is doing. Is it possible that the son uh, compromised as he is? But even if he weren't, do you really believe that the child of a president or someone close to someone in power wouldn't use their name to get something? Believe me, I grew up with this. My father had a paranoia about it. My brother had a paranoia about it. The way they would cut people off because of even the suggestion of this, because they knew that you're dead if it even smells bad. So, look, of course there were going to be problems with the president's kid making money while he's in office. Now, forget the hypocrisy that they didn't care about it with Trump's kids. They didn't care about it, even with Ivanka, who was working for the government and got those patents, even with her husband getting all that money from the Saudis. They don't care. That's politics, okay? Forget about that dynamic. We've talked about it enough. You know it. You can judge it. I'm talking about Biden, okay? And what I saw today is why he could lose the election. You have to define the narrative. Is this a kill shot on Biden? Of course not. Of course not. Maybe if you'd had the president writing these messages, he'd have real heat. But it's about how you handle it. And when you're explaining in politics, you're losing. And when you refuse to answer in politics, you are dying. And at the White House press briefing today, the press secretary got into a gotcha game. Because what do reporters do? In that setting, it's all about the gotcha. It's all about making a flash, okay? It's not about deep reporting. It's not about anything comprehensive, okay? It's a spectacle. And I'm not saying that derisively. I'm saying that's what it is. And when you refuse to answer, they're going to keep coming. And if you think you pick on another one and it's going to go away, no way, not when there's blood in the water. And when a press secretary says, I'm not going to answer the question or my answer is that I'm not going to answer it and I direct you to someone else, it reads as weakness and weakness reads as trouble and trouble reads as loss. Now, what were the mistakes? One, now is not the time to have Hunter Biden at a state dinner. I know he's your son. I know you love him. I get what you're trying to do. You're trying to say, listen, I don't run away from my family, even though we're in trouble. When I say I'm proud of him, I'm proud of him. He's trying to put his life back together. I'm not isolating him. Wrong move. 
okay? It is not the time when he's striking a plea. Uh, It's good that you respect him. It's good that he's owning it if that's what you want. But it's not the time to invite him to a state dinner. You're asking for this problem and you got it. Now, here's the exchange with the press secretary that put a bunch of nails in the coffin. As it relates to anything uh, uh, related to, uh, to Hunter, I'm just not going to respond to it from here. Okay. Can I follow up on that? Okay. Well, I just called in some way. Was the president there or not? I would refer you to my colleagues at the White House Council. They have addressed this, and I refer you to them. Go ahead. Karine, have you spoken to the president about this? Have you asked him whether he was there with his son on July 30th? This is not a conversation that I've had with the president. Again, I would refer you to the White House counsel. Nope. It's not how the game works. It's not how it works. Here's how it works. What is your position on these text messages? Was the president sitting next to his son at this time? Okay. Now, the answer is going to be no. The president has no recollection. I know that word. Hold the prompt. The the recollection word gets you in trouble. I know. I have a tendency to ad lib things that I'm saying. When I say hold the prompter, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the prompter operator. Remember, this is a startup. We're still all getting our footing here underneath us. So I just believe in transparency. You want to know what TV is about? I'll tell you. So what's your answer? Council's answer is Biden says no. The president says, no, I don't know what you're talking about. I was never there. I was never involved in his business. That's your answer. Because when you give this answer that you won't answer, it is blood in the water. And it should be shame on you for not having an I direct you to counsel. What are you talking about? You're the White House press secretary. You're here to talk to us. You're here to spin. And the one thing that will always kill you with the media is being in a situation that's supposed to be about exchange and going quiet. Now, conversely, I do believe the best way to deal with crisis is to shut up. We'll move on. We're like goldfish. We forget things. What's the new shiny thing? What's the new submarine? What's the new? We're going to move on. Shut up. Unless there's a process involved and then you got a problem because we keep coming back because the process is what's shiny. So the White House press secretary can say, oh, I did answer your question by saying I'm not answering your question. I'm directing you to the White House counsel. It is inept and it is ineffective, and it makes it look like you got something to hide. So now you do. And the idea that this is his son, he's a family member. It's not uncommon for family members. Yeah, yeah. You know when my family doesn't want me around? You know when I wasn't showing up? When I had a team of paparazzi chasing me for bad reason, trying to embarrass me and destroy me if they could. I didn't show up places. You know why? I didn't want to put that on my family. Now you could say, well, Hunter should have made that decision. Well, maybe he is incapable of making that decision or he just has bad judgment, but the president should have made it for him. And I'm not getting into their family business. It's not about family. Okay. It's about politics and they didn't play it right. And then the white house press secretary played it worse. Okay. So now what's happening is the story is catching fire because they won't deal with it. So now it's okay to take it at its worst because they didn't drive the narrative. They didn't tell you what to say. The White House counsel has answered this question already. Then keep giving that answer. Well, but I said I don't have anything outside that to share. Repeat the answer, because what you're saying is you don't want to answer and you're in the position to talk. I know you don't want to come on my show. I know you don't want to go anywhere that's not a safe harbor. I get it. Your job is hard enough when you're out there. I'm not asking you to come on. But I'm telling you, you're hurting the president. And whoever told you those are the right ways to answer the questions, it's worse than what Trump's team does. They may lie, defy and deny, but they're on message and they drive the narrative. And when you do that, it makes hard. It makes it hard even for the truth to get in the way. Okay. And when you can't say yes or no, was the president involved in that shakedown attempt? You're allowing them now to call it a shakedown attempt because you're not defining it. So if you're not going to tell me what it is and what it was, then I'm going to go on what somebody else is telling me it is. This was the problem. Now, is there another part to it? And then I'll go because we got a lot of show tonight. I'm sure Dusty's going crazy, but I'm telling you, nothing in the show is as important as this. This is the truth. This is what happens in politics. This is the game. And this is it being played poorly. And I'm telling you, 
This keeps happening with the Biden administration, and it could cost them the election because there are going to be problems all the way through, and it's going to be a battle to the bottom if it's Biden versus Trump, because I don't think that Biden has shown uh, the proclivity uh, or the desire or to have a team behind him that has the desire to project a message that is transcendent of the toxic soup that we're in. And Trump doesn't want to do that because pain is his game. He's an agent of animus. Okay, he's about grievance. That's what he's about. He is uh, in the movie uh, Snatch. Do you know what nemesis means? It is the righteous, uh, it is righteous retribution manifested in the appropriate agent. That's what Trump is. So he's not looking to be transcendent. So this is going to be a battle to the bottom. And if you keep letting people tell you what your answers mean and tell you what your answers are, you're going to be in big trouble. Okay? That's what's happening. That's what it means. And I know it's going to get spun in a hundred different directions, but that's the consequence of not having a straight answer, a consistent answer that drives a narrative that tells your story. Perception is reality in politics. This is Biden's biggest problem. Bigger than uh, what people think about his age and stage, about inflation, about national security. This is the dynamic that the media will resonate off of. Did you see him? It was like a feeding frenzy today. This was a nothing burger. The, the president has no idea what this is about. He's never been involved with his business. He wasn't there. That's what the council says. You didn't tell that story today and you lost. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to newsnationnow.com, newsnationnow.com, and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.